for today's practice, um, what I wanted to um, focus on, of course, is a reminder that yoga teaches that when we're on this path to liberation, to experiencing more um, inner freedom, more inner peace, that we're going to come across obstacles. It's by design. It's part of the path. And, um, you know, these, it's relevant, obviously, for me, but if you could take a moment to consider how um, you may be going through life and, and something completely unexpected, you know, at a timing that you're, you're always when it's, you know, the timing isn't ever ideal when things happen that, you know, are out of our control. And so it's by design that we're going to come across uh, these obstacles. And I wanted to actually read them off because they're, they're pretty specific. Um, but this is in Yoga Sutra 1.30. Um, sickness, disinclination. The mind turns away from practice because of the habitual procrastination, mental restlessness, and the general lack of enthusiasm for practice. Doubt. The mind vacillates between trust and mistrust, a lack of faith, carelessness, negligence in giving full attention to our practice, sloth, a tendency to avoid exertion and fall back uh, towards comfort and whatever is easy or what provides us mental ease. Non-abstinence, um, being overwhelmed by the pull of our senses and thus we fall, uh, we fail to maintain a sense of balance in our worldly life. Delusion, we make errors in understanding and judgment and we regard our practice, we, we disregard our practice and um, we take a mistaken viewpoint. This is one of like the supreme teachings of the Sutra and the Gita, delusion. Delusion, delusion, delusion. And now I don't want to call anybody delusional, but just consider a time in your life where you've perceived a situation and later you found out, whoa, I totally perceived that incorrectly. I totally miss, miss you know, I was in a, a, a state of mind that wasn't clear, it was full of emotions and I saw a situation a certain way and it wasn't that way. Um, failure to gain ground. So you like practice and you practice and you practice. But that level of achievement and that mastery is not not getting there. Um, and may and this can be many things. This can be that you fail to um, maybe there's a certain part of your practice you're disregarding. So maybe you're doing a lot of asana practice, but you're not focusing on, enough on meditation and pranayama and self study and wisdom literature, right? And then instability. A certain level of attainment is not achieved, and the results from the practice is not consistent. Um, so instability, right? So instability, delusion, sloth, carelessness, doubt, discipline, inclination, sickness. So these are, go we're going to, this is going to happen at some point in our lives as we maintain this practice, we're going to come across some of these. And so I thought for today, like, what is the antidote? How do we, knowing that we're going to come across these obstacles, how do we prepare for the obstacles? So today, um, I wanted to focus a little bit more on coming to our mats to gather strength and courage and confidence and faith and wisdom. Um, there was a great quote a long time ago that Mosaic posted that was like, we need to build up that um, emotional resiliency so that when something happens, we don't respond from emotions, but we respond from wisdom um or from that reactivity or from that programming but we respond from you know the larger wisdom so an example of this is obviously what happened with, with my dad this week i'm you know 3000 miles away and i'm getting pieces of information from my family members who are very emotional in particular one of my family members are very emotional and so i'm receiving information through that lens and so i get pulled into that lens and i can immediately go down with the shit but I was like, no, <laughs> this is not where I want to be. This is not the energy I want to hold for my family. What is the energy I want to, what is the energy we want to hold? We want to hold healing. We want to hold courage. We want to hold confidence. We want to hold faith. I want to hold the energy that I wish the circumstances to manifest. Okay. Now, I don't know that that always happens, but it takes a lot of like, okay, I'm feeling all these things. Let me feel them. I sure enough felt them broke down, cried, it was very sad. If I like tapped into my dad's energy, I would like lose it. 
But if I pulled myself out and they're like, no, you've trained for this moment. What is the energy you want to hold? Then I was able to like pull myself out of that. So we come to our mat sometimes to actually gather that energy. So today, a little bit more strength and a little bit more what was considered the dynamic power of the, the great divine to help us navigate not only our practice, but hopefully um, life. Okay, I know that was long-winded, but to be expected with me today, right? So come to your, your mat. And then let's go ahead and start. Um, I know you guys have been seated for a while. So let's go ahead and just come up to a tabletop position and then um, move around a little bit. So start to extend your legs back. If you'd like, go ahead and push up and back to downward facing dog. And just start to get a little bit of blood flowing through your body. Uh, shake out the head and neck. I do also want to preface for everybody that I am working with a very bizarre injury in my abdomen. I think I like pulled an abdominal muscle that I've been nursing for the past week. So I'm going to rely on some of you to um, demo some things I may not be able to do today. So I'm erring on the side of caution with my demo. When you're ready, go ahead and settle into a child pose. So take the knees nice and wide, stretch the palms forward and rest the forehead on your mat. And let's take a great exhale. Great exhale. Let all the air out of the lungs and then use this next breath as a way to like create space in your body. So take a full breath in, notice where you experience the breath in your body and then big open mouth exhale, move into that space. Relax the shoulders. And maybe pull your hips back, take the knees a little wider and maybe even take the arms a little wider. And then come into your space. Wherever you are, I invite you to close off your eyes. And feel into the physical space you are actually in. But begin to feel into the energetic virtual space that we inhabit together. And with our heads and our hearts bowed to the earth here, we humbly, courageously arrive to our training. And we step into the wisdom the practice gifts us. And we honor, we honor all that have taught us, all the teachers, all the students that come before us to help us learn. And then you're gonna to begin to deepen your experience of your breath. Drawing that ujjayi breath in and ujjayi breath out. And 
And then with each round of Ujjayi breath, can you become a little bit more intentional in your body and become a little bit more alive in your upper arm? Maybe starting to stretch the arm bones or lengthen the arm bones forward, come up into your fingertips. But pull your hips back. And then with your next breath in, we're going to lift up into a tabletop position. And as you lift up into your tabletop position, go ahead and organize your knees underneath your hip bones. And with an inhale breath, we'll drop it into our cow pose. So letting the belly drop down towards your mat, lengthen through the crown of your head. And then exhale breath round and find your cat pose. And today, stay in your cat Come up to your fingertip pads and then just begin to rock forward and back a couple of times. And then find your way into a couple rounds of cat and cows. Again, I'm going to skip the cow pose as this does not feel good for me today. All right, so enjoy a little extra for me. Really pull the core in when you round and find your cat and relax through the upper shoulders. Good. Yeah. Awesome, Zoo. And then teammates, no rush, no race. Complete that round. A round is a cat and a cow. You're going to flip all 10 of your fingers, fingertips towards your knees. And then you're going to tuck your toes under and begin to lift the heels of your palms off of the ground. Take a breath in. And with an exhale breath, come forward, set the heels of the palms down. So open up your hands again. Inhale, pull back, lift the heels of the palms off of the ground. And as you exhale, set the heels of the palms down. Last one, pull all the way back. And with an exhale breath, set the heels of the palms down. Go ahead and flip tops of your hands into your mat. Press your arms straight and then open and close your fingers a couple of times. Just beginning to work around the wrist capsules, the forearms, and then teammates, you're gonna bring the hands back to that neutral position. And you're gonna lift the knees about four inches off of the ground. So hovering tabletop position. Now you want um, a neutral spine. You want a neutral spine. So you don't want the booty tucked under and you don't want too much of an arch in your back, okay? So somewhere in the middle, but look down, make sure that your knees are about a, an inch to two inches off of the ground and that you're pressing the ground away through your palms and you wanna draw your shoulder blades back, lengthen through your chest, hold, breathe. Take a full breath in. Good, and now with an exhale breath, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. So as your hips go up and back, feel free to take a few breaths to move around. I know we did that at the beginning here, but you're welcome to try it here. Good. Looking to create that sense of length in your spine. Remembering to take that myth out that down dog is about the straightness of your legs, it's not. It's about the length of your spine and your spine, right? Goes crown of the head all the way down to the very base of your tailbone. Good, so it is inclusive here of the pelvis. Good. Even if you can get the heels down, I always recommend a little soft bend into the knees. It will create more length in your spine. It allows you to draw your sit bones up and back. Good team. From here, cat cow, down dog flow. As you inhale, come forward, drop the knees down. As you exhale, round and find your cat pose. And then lift it up and back to downward facing dog. Just one more and we're going to add on. As you inhale, option to go to hovering tabletop cow pose. Exhale, hovering cat pose. And then take it up and back to downward facing dog. This time you're gonna inhale, rock forward to the top of your push-up. 
And as you exhale, chaturanga push up. So lower down, press back up, and then take your left palm to your right ankle and twist. Look underneath your right arm bone. And then release and reset. So come forward, top of your push up, chaturanga push up. The booty under here, press up and press back. Right palm to your left ankle and twist. You're here for a full round of breath. Deep breath in, deep breath out. We're gonna do that one more time each side. Okay, slowly come forward, top of your push-up. Set the shoulders, keep the chest open. Come down, push back up, and twist. Left palm, right ankle. Good, now I'm just gonna watch here. Nice, good, boo. One more time, each side. Good team. And then once you hit that last side, come back to the top of a push up. Take a full breath in. Stay as you breathe out. And then one forearm at a time, come down to forearm plank. Great. Awesome. I'm gonna spotlight Vu here. Good job taking that plank position. Can you stretch the collarbones forward and really feel this as a full body movement, right? Full body is really kind of turned on here. Good quads plugging up into the hamstring. So take a full breath in. You can set your knees down and then teammates, you're gonna come to a sphinx pose. And as you come into that sphinx pose, remember you can adjust this. This is a back bend. So the further forward your elbows are, the lower the back bend, the higher up underneath you the elbows are, the higher the back bend. And then take the pose out of the shoulders, push down into the meat of your forearms, press down into the tops of your feet. Turn on your glutes. Take a full breath in. Good, and a full breath out. We're gonna stay in that sphinx position. Bring your right forearm parallel with the short edge of your mat. Okay. And then from here, kick your right heel towards your glute and go ahead and grab your right foot. Now the front of the left shoulder is gonna to wanna to come forward. I want you to pull it back. Open your chest. Are your legs turned on here? Push down. So it is this kind of uplifting energy in your upper body. You're not collapsing in the shoulders. Yeah, just like that. Great job. Coming at you, Mr. Vu. Good, yes. Take a full breath in. Gently release it and replace it. So you're gonna go left forearm forward. Good, keep that lift. Kick, left heel towards the glute. The right arm's gonna reach back and grab the foot. That's it. Good, breathe, remember to breathe. Take one more full breath in, one more full breath out. Good, come back to center here. Go back to Sphinx Pose. Now, if your low back is feeling good today, teammates, you can start to straighten the arm, steel pose. So the arm can go a little wider. Remember, engage the leg, strength of your leg supports this pose. Some of you may even begin to take the feet towards the head and think of taking your head back towards your toes. So then not something I'm gonna to do today, but feel free to take it if it feels good in your low back. Good, take a breath in. Exhale, release everything down to the ground, full pronoun pose to smooth out your low back. Reach forward, feel free to draw the heel towards the glutes. Good, windshield wipe side to side. Good. Releasing the low back. Team, we're going to power up our strength here and we're going to reverse chaturanga. So legs are going to come back to the ground. Tuck the toes under. Remember, you can keep the knees down here. When you're ready, press up either low plank or knees down, low plank. Look at your shoulders. Pull those shoulder blades down the back, then press up high plank, then press back downward facing duck. 
Inhale, breath, come high into your toes. As you exhale, hips to your heels. And then take a giant step forward to the top of your mat. As you inhale, come up halfway, lift hands, come to your heart center. This is for faith. As you exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward, empty out, empty out. Again, inhale, breath, hands to heart center. Draw into more faith. As you exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Faith, it is giving substance to that which is yet known. One more time, inhale, breathe in, hands to heart center. When we're traveling through the unknown. We can be gripped by the fear. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold, or we can held by faith. Okay, now bend your knees, windshield, or um, bend the knees and move side to side. So releasing the low back. Good team. All right, from here, release the fingertips to the ground. And with an inhale breath, come up for a halfway lift, lengthen out your spine. And then with an exhale breath, you're gonna take like this like short chair pose. So sit the hips back, reach the palms forward. Okay, it's like a forward fold in a chair had a baby. Good. So the hips are low. And think of pressing out through your feet, but also squeezing in through your knees. So there's a sense of engagement in your lower body. Okay, hold. You're here for three. Release the pose out of the shoulders. Two and one. The next time you breathe in, come up halfway, lift hands to prayer heart center. And then stay here as you send your arms forward, biceps by your ears. Little micro bend into your knees. Your hips are moving back. Core is pulled in. That's it. Now come up like you're gonna go into like a bar stool pose and then press through your legs, rise all the way up to standing, extended mountain pose. Good, I get cut off, so I'm just gonna stay down here. Good, take a full breath in. Team, come right back down, open the arms wide, dive forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Remembering the whole goal is to create more inner freedom. That's why I call that freedom pose. Inhale, breath, come up halfway, lift. Plant the palms, step back to the top of your push up. As you step back to the top of your push-up, you'll take one breath in to stretch forward. Amazing, boo. And then exhale, chaturanga down. Teammates, inhale breath, upward facing dog. Today, adding in that low plank push-up for the strength. Good, press up high plank and then press back down dog. Great job. Inhale breath, come high onto the toes. However you wanna float there or fly there or journey there, enjoy the journey, get to the top of your ride. Good, halfway lift, draw in more faith. Exhale out, fear, Uttanasana. Stand up, reach up, extend a mountain pose, stand tall, stand tall. We gather up that wisdom. And as you exhale, we freedom dive forward, Uttanasana fold. That's it team. Come up for that half lift. And then as you exhale, Plant the palms, step it back. You can float, you can fly. You're moving high to low chaturanga with the option to add in, beautiful Alice, in that low plank position for the strength. Press up high plank, press back down knock. Good, we're gonna do that one more time. Now, if you wanna play with a little bit more faith and courage and strength, try the flying up to the top of your mat. Yes, knees to chest, inhale, come high into the toes. Exhale, step, float, fly. Try something new. Good. Halfway lift with reverence. As you exhale, plant the, or Uttanasana forward fold. Rise up, stand up. Extend a mountain pose. Reach up. Good. Exhale, Uttanasana, dive forward, Uttanasana forward fold. Good. That halfway lift. Plant the palms. Step or float it back. High to low. Chaturanga Dandasana. Remember, I'm adding in today the option to go low plank just to build a little extra strength. That, that low plank builds a lot of strength. Good, take it back, Auto Muka, downward facing dog. Nice work. Good teammates, from here, inhale, send the right leg high. Now, as the right leg goes up and back, stop the hips and roll open. Okay? Now, you wanna stay pretty neutral today, even though that right hip is opening. Can you soften your left heel down and maybe start to float just the left arm off of the ground. Extend the left fingertips forward. 
That's option one. Option two, we're gonna take the left arm back and see if we can capture the right foot. And you wanna anchor your left heel down, but bow the body, kick hand into foot, push through your right palm. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, you got it, Allison. Coming at you, good. Push through everything that's touching the ground. That's it. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. That's okay. You went for it. Takes a lot of courage. Nice. Chris, Dean, and Chris Roberts. Nice work. Teammates, release. Go back to three-legged dog. Full breath in. You're going to twist under and across the body. Okay, get the right knee to the left tricep. Hold there. Try and keep the hips high. Option to begin to extend that right leg out to the side. Maybe hover it or set it down on the ground. It is a side plank or if you're ready for it you can go a little bit more hard fire the heart up towards the sky good okay we've been doing this a lot this month you're going to bring that right leg in front of the left coming into a little side plank position send the left bicep by the ear good breath in okay here's the change right knee kind of like a little jackknife you're going to pull it in towards the chest Good. Take the right ankle. This is a Ryan Glidden move. Right ankle on top of the left knee. And then you're going to push your hips down. So you're still balancing on your right arm. Okay. But focusing on like a figure four stretch here. That's it. Come back. Send that right leg out. Straighten the left leg. And then take the left palm down. Carry the right leg high. Okay, full breath in, right down the middle, knee to nose. Okay, place our right foot between the palms. Rise up today to warrior one pose. Root down through the back foot. Take a deep breath in. Okay, as you exhale, you're gonna drop the chest, hover it over your right knee, sweep the palms back behind you. Similar to last week. Let's see if we can connect. Belly to thigh. That's it. Little mini lifts. As you inhale, lift the chest. As you exhale, connect belly to thigh. Now, you're going to interlace all 10 fingers. As you inhale this time, feel free to straighten your right leg. Let the knuckles go down the inner left thigh. Breathe in. Full humble warrior. Okay, dropping the right shoulder inside of the right knee. Yes. That's it. Now, can you connect right shoulder to the right knee and press that right knee open, but then put the knee on the shoulder and resist those two points of contact. That's it, Chris Dean, beautiful. Okay, teammates, here's the change. You're gonna inhale. Lift up halfway, knuckles straightened back behind you. You're gonna lift into this bound warrior three. Left leg is in the air. You can release the bind. Option to sweep the arms to heart center to your hip. You can extend forward if you'd like. That's it, take a breath in. Okay, with an exhale breath, we're going to pull the left knee in and we're going to pull the elbows in to meet the left knee. That's it. Send it back. Feel that strength in your right leg. Exhale, pull it in. Again, send it back. Take a full breath in. Exhale, pull in. Good. From here, you're going to reach out nice and long. Take a full breath in. Come up to standing. Pull that left knee in. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Good, take a full breath here. Take that left knee out to the side. Really makes me appreciate the meat bar. Good, take a breath in. Good, feel free to grab a hold of the knife edge of the left foot. Good, and if you'd like, extend out any amount. Yeah, good. Okay, I love it. Allison's got her hand on her heart. So 
we're bringing in courage and strength, right? And that sense of balance, that sense of equanimity here. Three, two, one. See if you can pull that knee back in, bring it back to center. Good, you're going back into a warrior three, but this time you're gonna land and open up into a skandasana, bend into your left knee. Now, it can be a high lateral lunge, right? So you can take that left knee out a little bit more. Good, or it can be a deep one, which Allison is in here. Yeah, good, your choice, high lateral lunge. Yeah, you guys are all doing great, beautiful. Hold. Where I want you to go from here is a warrior two right side. We're gonna dance that a couple of times, okay? Take a breath in. Stay, let's open up the right hip first. As you exhale, go back to Skandasana. And then inhale, open back up. Stay with your breath. Exhale, sit. Good. Last one, inhale. Exhale, find your way into Skandasana. And then from here, we'll find our way to full warrior two. You're gonna hold. Take a full breath in. Go easy on this transition. Lift up onto the ball of the back foot and then come down into a twist. Left home's gonna come down, right arm's gonna go high. Okay, you can bring that left palm down, heart towards your right knee. Take a breath in. Teammates, we're stepping the right leg over the left for either a side plank or a flip dog variation, the choice is yours. Yes. Listen closely teammates. Option one, you're gonna reset to a one legged high plank. That right leg is in the air. Option two, right knee, right tricep. You're gonna either get a chaturanga push-up or kundanasana, lower down, float that back leg up. Good, and wherever you are, high to low chaturanga dandasana, step it back. We meet in auto mukha, down dog. Yes. Teammates, left leg in the sky. Good, hold there for a moment, feel your strength. Breathe in that which you need. If any of those obstacles are present before you right now, ask yourself, what is the antidote? What do I need? Take a breath in, stack the hips and roll open. Option one, we stay here. We take these in progression, teammates. Option two, we just begin to root down through the left palm and send the right arm forward. That's step one, okay? Step two, slowly take your right palm back Grab a hold of the top of your left foot. And then you kick and push, kick and push. The push is through your left hand. The kick is with the left foot and the right hand. That's it, take a full breath in. We go back, three-legged dog. Everything returns back to the ground except the left leg in the air, good. Twist it under and across. Tap, left knee, right tricep, hold, three, Two, send it out, one. Either hover it, set it on the ground. It is that side plank or a little bit more heart. The choice is yours. Cross legged side plank pose. Left leg goes on top of the right. Rainbow the body. You're using your upper body strength, your core, your legs, everything's working. The change, little jackknife. Pull the left knee in towards your chest. Give it a little squeeze. Right palm grabs the left. Figure four stretch. Sit back. Press your left knee down towards your mat. You got it. Three, two, and one. We're gonna go out the same way we came in. Right leg goes straight. Left leg goes forward. Bring the right palm to the ground. Send the left leg in the air. As you exhale, it's that knee to know. Place the left foot between the palms. Rise up to your warrior one. Good. Breathe in here. Press through the knife into the right foot. And as you exhale, airplane 
drop the chest. Now you wanna activate the arms back there. Okay, so no loosey goosey arms. Lift the pinky fingers towards the sky and connect belly to the thigh. Little mini lifts. As you inhale, lift belly off to the thigh. As you exhale, connect belly to the thigh. That's it, Allison. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, connect. Now option to interlace. Pull the knuckles back. Straighten your left leg. Lift the chest. Put the bend back into your left knee. Let's come to the inside of the left knee, humble warrior bow. That's it. Beautiful. Stay with it. Breathe, remember to breathe. Awesome. Teammates, from here, you're gonna lift only halfway. So belly's lifting off of your thigh. We're gonna come into bound warrior three. So you do have to shift your right toes down, push through your left leg. Once you have the balance, then you wanna sweep the arms forward, hands to the hips, hands to the heart. No judgment, just best effort that allows you to feel free and strong and confident and courageous. That's it. Okay, here we go. As you inhale, you want to pull your right knee in. Hands can stay to the heart. Or we pull those elbows in towards the knee. Send it forward. Reach it back. Full breath in. Exhale, pull everything in. Again, inhale. Exhale. That's it. Send it nice and long. Here we go. Take a full breath in. It's a big step back. You're going to open up the star. Go right into your lateral lunge or your skin. That's enough on that right side. That's it. Beautiful team. Take it easy on this transition. It is your left side that's going to lead you into warrior two. Find your way to the top. Left side, warrior two. Good job. Take it back, open up, skandasana or high lateral. Good, exhale, back to your warrior two. Again, slow and controlled. Low, exhale, warrior two. Good job. Okay, from here, take a full breath in. We'll go back one more time. Good, find your way back to that warrior two. Sit nice and low, take a deep breath in. Good, settle in. As you exhale, you're going to windmill down. Find that low lunge twist. So the right palm's gonna come down, left arm's gonna go to the sky. It's a big twist. Remember, whenever we pivot, you're pivoting on the ball of the back foot. That's it. Here we go, side plank pose. Make those adjustments. Oh man, thanks, Christine. <laughs> yes, we'll get there, we'll get there. Take a breath in, team. If you're gonna go into that flip dog variation, come to the flip dog variation, good. Okay, I want you to get the strength. Awesome, Allison, beautiful, Zoo. Your choice, teammates, it is one-legged uh, high plank, or you're coming into your kundinyasana. Carry the left leg over to the left tricep. Even if you don't lift, teammates, even if you don't lift, you can set that knee down or keep it hovering. It's a push-up. Good. We take it back, low lunge or low plank, and then move it into your up dog. Do that. And exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, teammates, take a full breath in. Okay, when you're ready, jump, step, float to the top of your mat. We'll put this all together, don't worry. I'll get you on that opposite side. Okay, first, come up for a half lift. And as you exhale, Uttanasana fold. Rise up strong, gather up that courage, that dynamic power, confidence, strength, wisdom, courage, faith, hands to heart center. Okay, you're gonna root down through your left foot, pull your right knee in. You can do that little jackknife and then pull it out to the side. Good, option one, ankle. Option two, nice edge of your right foot as you start to extend out. 
good. So just moving into that balance on the opposite side. Ow, embody the pose with that dynamic power, right? With courage and strength and faith and wisdom. What does that look like in the body? That's it. Slowly come back to center. Good. And then what I want you to do is take it back into a warrior three. So dance it back. There you go. Frame that front foot. So set right foot back. Step back, high plank. Good, come down to the forearms, all poses you've taken. Lift the hips high, dolphin pose. Now really push down into your forearms. Walk the feet up as close as you possibly can and it's okay to bend the knees. That's it. In the spotlight here, Chris Dean. Awesome. Teammates. Staying here, remember to push out of your shoulders. Feel that core engagement. It's a full body experience, full bodied experience. Option one, you're staying. Option two, little dolphin push ups. You'll slowly come forward. Try and tap or kiss the ground between your palms and push back up. You have five total, okay? Yeah. Okay, so what that looks like if you're coming into that push up is slowly coming forward, kiss the ground, press your chest back. That was one. Slowly come forward. So what happens is you start to lift higher onto your toes. That's it, Vu. That's it, Vu. Little micro bend into those knees. Little micro bend, that's okay. Good. Be honest, count your five. Once you get your five, teammates, I want you to go back to a high plank position on your forearms. I know, I know, working those shoulders, working that strength, good. Breathe, good, take a full breath in. Now, some of you know this, you're gonna transition to Chaturanga from here. I'll give you this little side view. You also do this in Ryan's class a lot. So you're in this forearm plank. Start to lift your knees off of the ground, lift your hips to the sky. You're gonna press your palms and lower to your um, Chaturanga. Lower, up dog. Option to go low plank. High plank, down dog. We're gonna put that all together in a flow, all together in a flow, okay? Breath to movement. First, inhale, come high onto your toes. As you exhale, look forward, step or float to the top of your mat. That's it, inhale, breath, come up high on, or halfway lift. Good, there's that face. As you exhale, Uttanasana forward fold. Stand up, reach up. Extended mountain pose. Rise tall, good. As you exhale, gather all that energy back into mind and to heart. Just stand tall here in Samasthiti. Hands to prayer, heart center. Good job. Power up, feel up, feel that energy come through the bottoms of the feet and rise upward and connect you to the heavens above. Breathe in, reach up. Gracious dive, freedom dive forward, Uttanasana forward fold. Okay, halfway lift. Option to take Bakasana Crow Pose. Okay, I love this pose. It shifts our perspective and it works on courage and confidence and strength. So drive the knees into the tricep shelf. Okay, your bones, it's bone to bone. Kneecap to upper arm bone. Look slightly forward because that's what these dynamic energies do for us. They move us upward and onward. I want you to try and hold for three breaths. Okay, you're about one breath in. Good, boo. Two. If you have the jump back, take it back low plank. If not, just step back. Nice work. We take it back to downward facing dog. Here we go. Back to our flow. Right leg high. Stack the hips and roll open. Option to grab a hold of that right foot. Find the balancing act. You have a full breath in. Full breath out. We release, everybody has somewhere they can go. You go right down the middle, knee to nose, and then we twist it under and across, tap the left tricep. Send it nice and long first, side plank. Good, cross left ankle in front of the right, or excuse me, right ankle in front of the left, right ankle in front of the left. Good, breathe in. 
Good, pull that right knee in towards your chest. Figure four with this little side plank. Good. We come back, send the right leg nice and long, hover. Left long comes down, right leg to the sky. Take a full breath in. Right down the middle, knee to nose, and then place the foot right to your warrior one. Reach up towards the sky, take a deep breath in. Exhale, airplane and drop the chest. From here, connect, belly to thigh. Then inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Connect the hands, inhale. You can straighten your right leg, reach up, open the chest. Humble warrior bow, bow to the inside of the right knee. Good, from here, lift up halfway. Let's find our way to that warrior three. Any option, hands to heart, hands to hips. Option is sweep the arm forward, take a breath in. Pull the left knee in, pull the elbows to meet the knee. Inhale, take it long. Good, exhale, what is working? Okay, chest stays low, one more time. Inhale, pull elbows to knee, stay low in your chest. Exhale, send it back. From here, you're gonna pull your left knee in, rise up to that one-legged Tadasana, pull the left knee out to the side, send your right arm out. Good, and then your choice, if you wanna go big toe, that's it. Extend. Nice work. Come back to center. You can pull the knee in. Take it back, warrior three. Now you've been here. Your option here, take one full breath in. You can extend out nice and long. Okay, teammates, from here, remember, it's a giant step back. And we're going to open up to stand back and out or high lateral lunge hands and come to the heart. Open up, warrior two, right side. Go back to that skanda. Go back to your warrior two, that's it. Last time, breathe. Amazing. Exhale, full warrior two. Good, breath in. Pivot on the ball of the left foot. Low lunge twist. Send the right arm to the sky. Step it back, side plank. Or flip dog, right foot can go behind the left leg. Lift, stretch. Teammates, it's one-legged high plank or kundanyasana carrying right knee, right tricep, lifting. Take it back, low plank. Amazing. We take it back, auto muka downward facing dog. Incredible. Let's bring this home, teammates. Left leg to the sky. Stack the hips and roll open. Remember, you can go for the balance. It's a full breath in in the balance. Mm -hmm. When you're ready, reach out nice and long. Take a breath in. As you exhale, it's knee to nose down the middle first. And then touch the left knee to the right tricep. Get it out there. Start to send it nice and long. Find your side plank, that open-hearted expression. And then cross, left ankle in front of the right four, cross-legged side plank pose. I'm gonna face you. There you go. Jackknife. Good, sit back. Good. Send it nice and long first. Left leg out. Take the left, or right palm down, take the left leg high, take a full breath in. As you exhale, bring it through, warrior one. Reach up to the sky, take a full breath in. Exhale, airplane, drop the chest. That's it, Hong. Good job, connect, belly to thigh. Just inhale, lift up, halfway. Exhale, connect with an option to grab the hands, straighten your left leg, open up. There's that heart opening. As you exhale, bow to the inside of the left knee. We lift up halfway, teammates. We pivot and come into that bound, warrior three. Sweep it forward, hands can come to the heart, hands can reach forward, you have three. Pull the right knee in, one. Good, send it back. Two. That's it, Chris Roberts. One more, send it back. Give it your all, 100%, okay? 
Extend out nice and long, take a full breath in. You're gonna come up to standing first. Pull the right knee in. Little jack knife, take the right knee out to the side. Your choice here, if you wanna extend out, you wanna hold down to the shin, the knee. Here we go, teammates, come back to center. Bend the knee, come back to neutral. Right leg is going straight back. You're gonna take a giant step back and right away you open up to your skandasana on that right side. That means the left toes lift. And then we find our way back to a warrior two. Two more times. Use your breath, inhale skandasana or lateral lunge. Exhale, forward. Last time, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. One full breath in. Pivot on the ball of the right foot to bring yourself into that low lunge twist. Left arm to the sky. Your choice, side plank or flip. Good, your choice, one-legged chaturanga or kundanyasana. And if you want to take it, those of you going from, good, from um, that side curl, beautiful woo. If you wanna take it back to that low plank, that's the challenge awesome Allison is doing. Chin stand, great job getting so strong. Nice work, we meet back in downward facing dog. Good teammates. Dolphin pose when you're ready. We'll bring this home, we'll bring this home. When you're in your dolphin pose, I recommend giving your head, a, uh, your neck a break. So look towards your toes. Good. Option one, stay here. Option two, lift the right leg off to the ground. Good, just hold or three little push-ups. You're gonna shift your weight forward with the right leg high. Look forward, press back up. Good, that's one. Good, Allison is demonstrating here, that's two. I know, a lot of strength. And three. Okay, this works your core, this works your shoulders. Set the right foot down. Regather, recompose. Okay, lift out of the shoulders. Lift out of the shoulder girdle. Good, left leg to the sky. Hold, breathe in. Hold, or three more little mini push-ups. One. You got it. Two. Nice. And three. Good. Woo, set the left foot down. Last little bit, bit of work. If you want to come into that chaturanga, you come forward. Remember, plant the palms. You lower down halfway and we lift up and then take it back down dog. Once you are in your down dog team, all you're going to do is walk your hands to the back of your mat. Bring your big toes together to touch. Come up for your halfway lift. And then with an exhale breath, tuck, squat, and curl. Push the ground away, round into your upper spine. And then walk your palms a little further forward. And then take your knees nice and wide. You're like in this little uh, garland pose. Reach forward. It's almost like a hovering uh, child's pose, right? Forearms can come down. Relax your head and neck. If you want to work on the balance, you can begin to grab a hold of your heels. So the arm bones go in front of the shin bones. You grab the heels. You want to take your knees wider apart. Breathe in to lengthen your chest and your spine. And as you exhale, you look to bring the forehead to the ground. One more full breath in. One more full breath out. Okay, here's what you're gonna do. If you're balancing, go ahead and release the palms forward and then team have a seat. Good. And now you're in position here for um, Baddha Konasana, so soles of the feet touch. And then walk the sit bones back. Grab a hold of the ankles here, sit up nice and tall, take a breath in. Keep your chest tall, keep your head lifted here. Press your elbows into your thighs. Push your knees down to the ground and look to bring your heart into the soles of your feet. Now, Try and push your knees into your um, forearms or your elbows and push your forearms into your knees. Take the pose out of the shoulders. You're here for three, two, 
and one. Now release everything. Just kind of stay in this like hinge position. Hold three, two, and one. Can you push your knees further down here? One more round. And then from here, gently release. So palms outside of your knees, release the feet down. Kick them out front of you. Take the knees hip width distance. Little uh, hip mobility here. Let's go left and right 90, 90. See if you can twist all the way over, whichever knee comes down to the ground, twist completely over that thigh. Good. Do that one more time each side. Lift out of the low spine, you're twisting. Okay, and then from here, once you are back with the knees up towards the sky, extend the legs nice and long. Walk your sit bones back here. Try not to move the fleshy part here, just walk them back. Squeeze your legs together, point the toes. We're gonna prep for a fish pose. So, so you're gonna actually sit on your hands, pull your elbows back. So before you even go down, I want you to open your chest. Now this most likely is a pose I won't be able to do. Take the elbows back down and then take the head all the way back. Actually, I'm good. So maybe the crown of the head touches the ground, maybe it doesn't. Now that's the pose, okay? If you wanna take it up a notch, you can lift the legs off of the ground. You balance on the crown of your head and you take the hands up. Okay, it's a little bit more strength. Either stay in the heart opener or go for a little bit more strength, your choice. You're here for about three more breaths. Try and enjoy it and relax into it. To come out of the pose, you wanna lift gently chin in towards the chest. Good. And then release um, sitting on your hands. Good. You can bend the knees, bring the knees into your chest. Good job, teammates. And then go ahead and separate the knees. Find your way to a happy baby or any really hip opening pose of your choice. And then when you're ready, slowly extending the legs out one at a time. And finding your way into your final rest pose. And if it's okay with you today, I'd like for us to consciously move into rest with breath. Just feel free to take your hands on your low belly to help ground a little bit more and then open mouth, exhale and release everything out of the lungs. And you're gonna take about a four second breath in, slow and controlled. Feel what happens underneath your hands. And then you're gonna hold. And now open up your mouth and exhale for six seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold. Again, slow breath in for four. And receive this. It's like a great breath that's filling you up with a source of power that is bigger than you. Hold. Remember, this is a place where Yangar says the lover and the beloved meet. And now big open mouth exhale, the great exhale, supplies you with that what you need. Hold in the emptiness at the bottom. You have one more round. Breathe in slow and controlled. You're going to hold full at the top. And then open mouth, exhale for six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Last hold, last hold. And then let it all go, teammates. You just ease. And give yourself the gift of refuge. Resting inwardly and peacefully. And being held greatly. Leave a breath in. And once more, teammates, come into your space, your space of practice. Feel the breath. And then come into the space that we've created together. And feel into a breath there. And then deep in your breath, add in some gentle movement. And as you add in this gentle movement, remembering, we step onto our masks to train and to prepare us for this wild journey of life, not a stopover, a necessary experience for our growth and evolution. And as I'm de deepening my study in the Gita, you know, I'm, we're in chapter nine and like the word faith has come up so many times. Shraddha is the Sanskrit term. That if you don't have faith, remembering that this is not something that you have to go somewhere to achieve, meaning like a physical place, that the faith is a state of mind, it's a consciousness, it's an energy, it's that giving substance to the yet, yet that, or giving substance to that which is yet known. Teammates, you're going to roll over to whichever side calls you forward. And then let us press up to seated and take the hands in prayer and then bring them up to the third eye. And um, as you bring the thumb to the third eye, that shadha is a state of mind. It's bringing that down into the heart. So bring the hands now to the heart center here, bowing inward and 
in reverence to this practice and all the ways it provides us with the antidote to overcoming and to prevailing in great ways, both the triumphs and the tribulations, the challenges, the adversities. May we treat both those circumstances the same. May we have that equanimity. And remember that the path to freedom is an inward journey, the path to peace and the harmony and the freedom is an inward journey. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for training. Thank you for your patience and agility here with our platform. Here's to the continued journey and from my heart to yours. Namaste.